It's one of those jobs that seems made up. I make fake limbs for animals of any breed. Turtle, deer, goat, sheep, llama. You name it, I've done it. You know, there's not many people that do what I do, and sometimes it's a lot on my shoulders. You're looking at one of three baby pit bulls to be found near some railroad tracks. I got this call about a dog, Hudson. And Hudson was one of those more extreme challenges. <laughs> a, a guy pinned him to railroad tracks and left him for dead. When Hudson was found, he was in such rough shape that they really didn't think he would survive the ride to the shelter. Once I adopted him and brought him home, he would have nightmares. You know, with what happened to him, it's hard for him to be able to trust anyone. I knew something had to change for him. When I got the call, I said, I have to help this dog walk again. I had to create something that no one's ever created before. I created about five different versions of prosthetics. And I'm like, fail, fail, fail. Plastics, like we use here, allows to experiment, and I can do things that I wouldn't be able to do with other materials. I made this new prosthetic, and I said, just please work. I want this to work so bad. All right, let's give it a whirl. You cross your fingers every time you fit a prosthesis. There you go. All right. Good boy. It's just one of those miracle <laughs> moments. Yeah, definitely. Real. Come on. Come on. It was like a whole new Hudson. He was like, I'm free. Oh, there we are. <laughs> there he is. Ready? You ready? He's a thriving dog now. And he has a purpose in life to help others. <laughs> bye bye, baby. Tree top. <laughs> There's his belly. He's a friendly one. Hudson liked people again. I think his faith in humanity was finally restored. 